And that is four of the five. And here I got the last one, which is another privet, or at least I think it's a privet. I actually don't know what it is for sure. These are the leaves and there's the stem. Um, if anyone knows what kind of plant this is, um, put a, a comment in the uh, description in the, the comment below and let me know what plant it is because I'd really like to know. Um, and also the features so I can look it up. But I've been growing these for cuttings for about three years now um, I really like them and they uh, root pretty readily um, I get about a 60 to 80 percent um, chance of rooting and I don't really do anything special for them so and if anyone just knows just let me know so I'm gonna get to wiring this one and on this one I'm actually gonna do a twin trunk give you another close-up so right here you can see we have a trunk there and a trunk here I just pull out the pine straw but Right there it splits so I'm actually gonna wire both of these and do a sort of twin trunk I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet with this one so I'm gonna start with the number 12 for the big trunk this is, this is number 12 I've barely even used my larger wire, but I've used a decent portion of my smaller wire. Um, I have sizes, I think, 10 through 20, maybe 22. Um, what is this? That's not the smallest one. The smallest one is right here. Yeah, um, I have a uh, t 10 through 20 sizes um, a little bit longer but I barely used my uh, my uh, bigger liar because I haven't really had anything large that needed it a um, little bit longer so it's finally getting its use okay that'll work Cut it in the notch. Stick it in the soil. The base of the trunk. And all these trees are young, healthy trees. So even if the uh, branch breaks, it's I don't think that there'd be a huge chance that they'd suffer for a really bad from it. Um, it should all recover quite nicely. Um, so there should be no real issue with them having split branches or broken branches like what happened on a few of the other, earlier ones. Got one wired. I'm gonna wire this one. I'm thinking number 14 on that one since I used 12 on the bigger one. This is 14. 
again the length like that. You can see it bends. You just want to put it again right in the soil, right, right next to the first wire. It will. A lot of difficulty with this wire going in the soil. The soil is frozen. There we go. Just leave it like that. Just wired the whole way up. Find straw stuck in there. This also makes good practice for me because I've actually never really had the money to afford wire, and I actually won a. Uh, a raffle a few years ago and I ended um, to uh, the bonsai shop ended up using it to buy wire so that was nice because now I have um, wire for my plants and it's really the first time that I've had this this much wire and this, this much of an assortment which is awesome go that's wired um, and what you want to do with a twin trunk is you actually want to have each of the two trees be uh, similar in their in their movement I'm actually not sure what kind of movement I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna bend this out right here first then bring oop, bring it in turn it Branches breaking like crazy, and then just do twist like so. There we go. You just want to bend it and generally the same shape. I'm kinda trying to bend this lower half more.
know what I might do? I might actually make this into a cas semi cascade style. Or maybe even a cascade style. And just bend this over and make something a little bit different. See, I got a semi cascade going, and here's the end. I'm just gonna print it off there. Let me try to bend this a little bit more. There we go, we have five trees that are wired. We have a uh, cascade, maybe semi-cascade tree right here. We have a uh, formal upright right here. And actually the rest of these are formal upright. You can see they have good movement. Um, so that's about it to wiring these. and. Thank you.